before this video starts, please like and subscribe for more updates. The Philippine Marine Corps Force Reconnaissance Battalion or Marine Force Recon is the Philippine Naval Fleet's Philippine Marine Corps Elite Ground Force Units for unconventional warfare and special operations. It specializes in sea, air, and land operations. Like its counterparts in the Special Warfare Group of the Philippine Navy, the Recon saw intense combat actions alongside the MBLTs during the Sessionist movement of the MNLF in Southern Mindanao in the early 70s. Thus, the four-man team earned its fame. From 1975 to 1985, the unit experienced a series of combined combat and administrative operations ranging from recon missions to augmentation of the first activated inshore boat company in the early 1980s. On 15 September 1985, the first recon company was redesignated as the 61st Marine Company. The 61st Recon Company had most of its field assignments in Mindanao, particularly in the Zamboanga Peninsula where they were pitted against the several dissident terrorists and also the Moro National Liberation Front. In 1986, the 61st Marine Company was stationed at the Marine Barracks Fort Bonifacio. In June 1987, the unit together with a large contingent of Combat Service Fort Brigade units and other MBLTs were sent to Holo, relieving the first ID of the Philippine Army. From there, the unit was sent to various combat missions against several lawless elements in Basilan, Tawi-Tawi, and Palawan. In 1989, the unit practically covered the entire archipelago. A recon platoon was deployed in central Mindanao, specifically in Davao and Cotabato, under the operational control of the 3rd MBDE. On 15th of May 1989, the 62nd and the 63rd Marine companies were both activated although their actual fill-up came up later in 1994 when there were three independent recon companies. In 1992, the units maintained the same profile of deployment. It was intensely engaged against several kidnapped for ransom gangs in central Mindanao. One of the most celebrated accomplishments of the unit during this period was the rescue of Father Blanc. The encounter by the unit which preceded this rescue together with the other marine units operating in the ceiling were the first ever series of encounters by the AFP against the ESG. The successful operation and rescue in Camp Al Madina Basilan earned for the unit not only national prestige but the second medal of valor for the Marine Corps in the person of Lieutenant Studio Parcon. From 1993 to 1994, the company was designated under the Marine Rapid Deployment Force and was sent to Porta Bato to face more combat operations. In March 1998, the battalion was confronted with a war in central Mindanao against the MILF. Again, the headquarters went into action together with its three companies, where three of its men, earning for their battalion the Medal of Valor. On August 2001, the FRBM was once again deployed in Basilan to rescue the Dos Palmas hostages and to finally neutralize KSG, while one Force Recon Company was committed for the Force Recon Course class, which was operating under Southern Luzon. In the same year and in accordance to the Marine Corps Table of Organization, the 61st, 62nd, and 63rd Marine Companies, respectively, with the growing strength of the battalion, the 64th Force Recon Company was activated on the January of 2003. The battalion is now under the Combat Service Brigade of the Philippine Marine Corps. It was in 1954 that due to the formation of Scout Raider Platoon, the Philippine Marine Battalion then first received formal instruction and training in combat parachuting. Thus, it officially became the first airborne unit of the Philippine Navy. So far since its inception, the recon unit garnered 
three medal of valor and in 2000 it won for itself the AFP Outstanding Person of the Year in 1985 and 2001 respectively.